Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Shunt of All Ages Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another Mortal Kombat mobile video. And in this video, we're going to be doing our sixth run of the Lin Kuei Tower, which is seven days before the tower goes away. And it's been around for quite a long time. As you can see, my Quailing Scepter is up to Fusion 4. The importance of having this one bar of power is that you can now start a diamond character at three bars of power, except for Nether Realm. Thank you for nerfing Revenant Kung Lao. Or Circle of Shadow, Kung Lao, however you want to call it. And no alternative has been in place for that. But, a lot of other people can still take benefit of that. For example, the Sub-Zero Cold War or Mortal Kombat 11 that are martial artists. But unfortunately not the Netherrealm version, which I think is the Circle of Shadow one. He cannot actually gain that. But, having that aura power is a big deal. We haven't really seen any uncommon, well, we haven't seen any rare or epic drops in this run of the tower. And Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero has about a third of his health left. So let's see if we can chip that down within this attempt, or if we have to do one more. I'm contemplating not spending souls because there's no chance of getting another copy of Sub-Zero. As the 100 souls, I think, could go towards gambling towards other characters, but... Keep in mind, if you spend said 100 souls, you can then get gold characters within the tower. So we might still spend some souls, just get those gold characters, because we do still need up most of them. I have three of them maxed out, which I think is Ayla's Johnny Cage, Injustice, and Infernal Scorpion. So I have three characters that are completely maxed out. So there aren't that many chances of a sell back, but it's still an option. We have a minute and 33 seconds left to chip away about 20% health. Shouldn't be a problem here unless my Mortal Kombat 11 Scorpion gets KO'd before that. If that doesn't happen, we should be okay. We have plenty of time left. We just need to build up Infernal Scorpion's power. Now that the Frostbite is gone, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's just keep disabling. We got a minute and 14 left. We're going to throw one more spear and then switch over to Inferno Scorpion. You don't want to switch in the Silver Coon Jin because if he gets knocked out, everybody will lose a bar of power due to the Quarry Blade being maxed out. So we're going to get off three special ones, possibly more, depending on if we get a free one. So the special uh, does not get canceled there. We're going to throw the spear. 127,000 damage. We're going to be able to get one more spear off. 50 seconds. We're going to swap out while he's still stunned and get the spear off on Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero. So we're in pretty good shape of wiping this out. Even if Infernal Scorpion was gone, we should have no problem completing this within 40 seconds. We have like 5% health. There's no Frost Orb left. So I think we can get Infernal Scorpion toss one spear and claim our six Sub-Zero. I honestly would like another Cold War Sub-Zero bringing him up to Fusion 3, but let's see who we get. I don't think that's enough. That is enough to knock him out. So there is Fight 200 down for the sixth time. And that'll give me a Fusion 5 Quailing Scepter, which is great. Excellent. Alright, so there it is. So one bar of power, 75% lethal blow chance when the opponent's frozen, 300% damage. And unfortunately, we won't have enough time to max it out. Now, you can buy this from the equipment pack, but I ain't paying $30 for a chance to get it. And we got a Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero, so that'll actually bring him up to Fusion 1. That's great. It took us five tries to get our first, but we actually got two in a row. And the fact that we can also get him from Faction Wars, if I ever get off Marvel Contest of Champions and play Faction Wars again, maybe they'll do something to make it a little more exciting. I don't know. I know it's only a few hour grind to actually get a character. But yeah, I'm very happy about that. Leave your comments down below if you guys think I should be spending souls in order to just keep trying to get gold characters. Or if I should save those souls and do a featured opening as soon as we get a couple thousand souls. So by that we're talking uh, the Assassin Scarlet Pack, the Mortal Kombat 11 Diamond Pack when it comes back. I would love Day of the Dead Aaron Black or even Day of the Dead uh, katana because we do have classic Melina at fusion 7 and we have mournful katana at fusion 7 but for your viewing pleasure let's do a single battle in faction wars and uh, let's not use this team the team I want to use 
is going to consist of the Terminator. So let's sort by name. So we have Balance Kenshi. Let's throw in. Uh, let's throw in Demolition Sonya Blade for more tech. Who's actually at Fusion Eight? Wow, that's a lot of promotions out here. I don't think I had any copies of her before the Lin Kuei Tower. So, yeah, I might actually go forth and refresh. I think Terminator is all the way in the back. Uh, where is he at? There he is. Okay, so Dark Fate Terminator. I think we should actually start him first. We have Wrath Hammer Quailing Scepter. Um, let's throw on Crit. Let's throw on Quietling Bracers as well. So let's throw on Shao Kahn's Helmet. So for Terminator... Now I'm going to show you guys the significance of having Quietling Scepter at Fusion 5 or higher. Granted, we probably can't avoid tagging out with uh, Combat Cup Johnny. We can try, but this is the significance of having... Filing Scepter at Fusion 5. You can automatically get an X-ray off with the synergy to get a bar of power. It's a big deal when you're trying to get those uh, feats of strength. Now the question here is, do I want to keep in Terminator? He's actually doing all right damage to Johnny. Might be able to just leave him in there. A lot of red damage because of the Wrath Hammer and Shao Kahn's helmet maxed out. Actually doing some pretty good damage to combat Cup Johnny. Got another special one. So there is Kano. Stay down. I'm gonna throw the special one just to disable him. It's a really powerful mechanic, especially the fact that you can throw it off when the opponent is blocking. It'll still cripple. Mortal Kombat 11 and Scorpion can't do that. So. That alone does Stay make Terminator down. pretty valuable. Let's throw that up again. Just to disable uh, Scorpion for being able to throw a special. And that lasts for like 20 seconds when you have it maxed out. So you have a lot of time to throw a special. Yeah, there's the freeze. So if we can land the freeze, we can get some massive damage. Let's throw another sword up just to make sure we disable him. And there it goes. So it was going away. We're going to play some football. Terminator is going to Cool animation. Can you imagine a Fusion X Terminator with like 400,000 health? That would be crazy. And then he takes 30% less damage. With Johnny Cage about to go down. Terminator actually doing pretty well. That minion assist basically takes him out there. So they're like, screw this, you're done. Special 2 takes out about half of Scorpion's remaining health. Kenshi is at 3 bars. Demolition Sonya actually do a little bit of damage. I want to save that for K if possible. That spear is going to come in and do a little bit of damage. Surprised Johnny didn't come in there. He's going to get eliminated. There's Johnny. Hits her right in the crotch. Let's get rid of Johnny. And then let's X ray Kano and get rid of him, hopefully. That should be enough damage, but. There you go. That's the importance of having. The Twilight Scepter at Fusion 5. Because it's just like the Bloody Tomahawk, the Devastator, and the Wrath Hammer. You get that full bar of power, which is a big deal. But if you guys like this little video of Round 6 in uh, the Lin Kuei Tower pulling our second Mortal Kombat 11 Scorpion, which I'm super happy about, please give this video a like rating. Comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Mortal Kombat mobile videos, playlists, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shonen. My Instagram, which is Hollywood Shonen, has got. And you can see we got three Cold War Sub Zeros, two Mortal Kombat 11, and one Circle of Shadow. Leave your comments down below. Let me know how many Diamond Sub Zero characters you got, which ones you've also obtained. Have a wonderful day, kids. This is a public service announcement that I like 10 minute ads for more money. Thank you www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!